YouTube, it's Becky, and I am coming to you as editing me from the future. Um, so last week I filmed a little tour of a friend's plant collection and uh, we had so much fun. It was amazing. Um, but I am realizing a few things. Uh, number one, this is my first time interviewing somebody and you can 100% tell. So be a little patient with me, be a little patient with her. She was not used to being on camera, but she did a fantastic job. Um, and the second thing is that this was my first time filming like somebody else's collection. So it might not be as smooth as what I'm used to. Um, I'm also trying to use a new editing program. So we're just doing all the new stuff at once. So um, if this video turns out a little bit funny, that is why hopefully it's gonna go perfectly and you will all love it. Um, but this is what we're working with for right now. Um, so anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. Um, if you do like it and you're in the Edmonton area, um, please just comment below if this is something that you would be interested in doing. Um, I would love for this to be a little series of other people showing me their collections, whether they're comfortable being on camera or whether they just want to be sort of a voice in the background. Either is fine with me. Um, I just think it's really fun to show other people like what plants you have and why you love them and how looking after them goes for you. Um, I think that's something that we're sort of all interested in. So having other collectors be willing to invite me into their home and their space and show me their collection um, really is very helpful. Um, and I think it's a, a ton of fun. Um, the other thing that I do quickly want to mention is that after Rebecca agreed to have me come film her collection, she found out that she had thrips. So we will be mentioning that a certain amount in the tour. Um, and I think that I probably will be doing like a little upcoming video about like what having bugs is actually like when you have a large collection um, and what you can do about it, especially when you have pets and kids involved. Um, Rebecca does have a couple of tanks that have reptiles in them or um, amphibians. She's got some really cute axolotls there for sure. I'm going to be in this video. Um, so uh, she can't necessarily use a ton of insecticides um, just for the safety of her family and her pets. So um, what do you do? in that case. Um, so that's some of the things that we'll be talking about. I just wanted to give some like context to what is going on. And I realized I had not at all done that when I was filming. So I hope you love it. Um, enjoy this little tour. Thanks again, Rebecca, for having me at your house. I loved it. And thank you for the adorable mugs. They were fantastic. I uh, enjoy the tour. <laughs> to show me her collection. Um, so behind us we have her little panther chameleon. Oh yeah, he's up there. Yeah, he's hiding. Um, so she is going to show me around her collection um, and I have a few quick questions for her. So uh, the first one is an easy one. What's your favorite plant? Um, 
Well, I would say my favorite plant would be the Peperomia pepper spot, but I absolutely adore philodendron. Mm -hmm. so. Is there a special philodendron or special, like the Peperomia pepper spot, but what's your favorite philodendron? Uh, probably the purple mark. Yeah? Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah, the and one that you big. have in there is like gigantic and gorgeous. He's, so yeah, he's a favorite. I definitely like that one. <laughs> what is the plant that you have struggled with? So this can either be like over time you have had a few and have never had one work or you could pick like a recent one that you've had trouble with um okay so boston fern i think everyone hates that plant. and if they want to die you love them they but you die. learn to hate them they're just yes. the rotten child that never cooperates they're yeah. terrible yeah not a friend so pretty have one, but but he's not so great yeah and i wish he was but he's not yeah. that's true totally but i'm i'm learning yeah. yeah. They are not fan friendly. Mm -hmm. Don't set them in front of a vent. Mm -hmm. And the higher your humidity, the better. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I'm going to try one. I'm going to buy a self watering pot or make a self watering pot. And That's I think great. I'm going to try. I want a maiden hair fern because they're so oh. pretty. And like the difference between the bright green new growth and like the darker old growth and like the, the beautiful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's going to die. Not for my collection. Uh, it is going to yeah. die. Um, but I'm going to try it. I think maybe a self-watering pot would be That's a, a good better idea. bet because I, I feel like I never water them enough, but I always feel like I'm overwatering them. So somebody who's never like successfully kept a plant alive, what do you what would you tell them? Get the one that you like the most and let it be. Because I think that we overthink our plants, mm -hmm. baby them. <laughs> Definitely. You want them to grow, so you're checking them every day. It's good to check them, but don't pester them. Let them be. And if you see something that's not working, ask. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Call the garden center where you got it from or somebody that you know like me that has a green house and ask. Don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. I, even I have to ask. With of all course. these things that I have in my house, I still mm -hmm. have to. And things still die. Yeah. I just throw it out and start again. Mm -hmm. You can't take it too personally. It's no. not you, it's the plan. Yeah. And there's there's definitely some that I have in my collection that like, I'm just saving it because it's not quite dead yet. Uh, I have like a shelf of shame. Uh, oh, the shelf of shame. <laughs> yeah, and if, if something like makes it to the shelf of shame, like honestly, half of the time, they'll sit there for a couple months and then they like decide that they're going to park back up and they come right back and it's fine. I have a couple too that have just held the space. Yeah. So in the springtime, those plants will come back mm -hmm. and I'll just replant that same plant in the dead spot and go again. Right, like Hope just for the best. Yeah. replacement. Yeah. Any plant that you wanted, uh -huh. uh, what would you be running out to get? Philodendron white wizard. Yeah. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. She will be in my house someday soon. <laughs> yeah. I have a couple of Hoyas on the list. Yeah. Just 
for anniversary purposes. I bought one and it died and it was my 15th anniversary gift and mm. it died and it just wasn't oh, no. a good band. They're, I've heard they're really temperamental. Fuzzy leaves, anything that has that fuzzy bear claw leaf yeah. is a tricky yeah. bugger. So I'm really hoping that more clippings become available or I can actually get like the whole plant in. Right. <laughs> blue but I'd like to have the bigger one so yeah and yeah. how it binds and fails yeah. it's gorgeous that really blue color to the leaf is really it's so pretty and when you only have like a small plant there's always a risk like what if as you'll see in my collection we're going through a what if stage and it's tricky I have no idea how I got them where they came from it's only mm -hmm. been the last couple days that they hit and I just work through it yeah, I, sa I said in my last video that I'm kind of like waiting to get a big outbreak of some sort of bugs or something. Like I've had a few spider mites here and there. <laughs> I'm well versed in all now. I have gone <laughs> right. through the full nature. Yeah, I did. I think the one that would freak me out the most is mealybugs because that like cottony oh, stuff yeah. just looks so gross to me. But um, squishing them is satisfying. Oh, no. Like uh -uh. Mm -mm. No, pass. Hard pass. Hard oh, pass. yeah. I'm no. going to do it. Mm -mm. I'm a bug girl. I no, I, I will drown them. <laughs> I don't want to do the squishing. I'm always afraid if I put it in the water and then I pull it back out, are they like going back on it somehow? So I'm always like trying to rinse and pan. Oh, just squish it no. done. Mm -hmm. Squish, spray, mm -hmm. done. Yeah. No. to have more than one of everything so it got pretty out of control pretty fast and yeah. I look forward to seeing where it goes. Now yeah. it's just selective collecting. I did that collecting one of everything and now yeah. I have a house of green. Now, yeah exactly and then you have, you have fewer spots that you can put stuff in. True. And then what if something like takes off like where do you put a bigger... Make friends. <laughs> yes, exactly. Make green Take friends. Cuttings and Good to know. Yeah. I'll share. Right. <laughs> There's I lots to go around now. Yeah. Our plant swap seems to be pretty green things to us. We're bad for that. Yes. yes. Just yeah. bring it Make all. Make sure everybody leaves with something. That's the that's the goal. Well, they can't come home with me. My yeah. husband said no yeah. more. No, I know. Yeah. I am trying to like give away more cuttings than I'm taking home. I have that rule. The box has to come home empty of my own. I have a house full of green. Yes. It never ends. It's lovely. Okay, I have one more question. Sure. Um, what got you started with houseplants? My grandma has a green thumb. She's always had a green thumb. And had a lot of um, Christmas cactus, things like that. And I always sneezed and hated them. So I did more of the Hoya side of things and loved the Hoyas. And I loved Pothos from the day one. Mm -hmm. I had one before I met my husband that ran the whole span of my house. And it was my 
It was planted hanging from the ceiling in the kitchen, and the vines trailed the whole top. It was massive. It took four of them to get it down off the ceiling and boxed it up. And when I left there, I, I gave it to a friend, and she was, this is massive. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> yeah, I've always had a green thumb, always loved plants. Mm -hmm. But this collection started as a result of my chameleons. Yeah. Yeah, I got them at Thanksgiving, and it's not a green time. No. And they were coming into a, basically a glass box, and I didn't have any plants. So yeah. I decided really quickly I would buy the biggest trees I could find that would fit in my house and mm -hmm. put them in for them, and they loved it anyways. Yeah. So it's easier and better maintenance for them to have live plants. And well, that's so much easier to keep the humidity at the right level. Yeah. And the, like, if plastic plants do nothing for hu your humidity, obviously, but no, like, they're a, easier a real to clean, plant. but that's about it. So it's yeah. just a lot easier to have a real plant in there and just let them climb around and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Once I heard that they like that type of environment, it was really a bad habit that started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And YouTube videos are really bad. Don't watch them if you haven't yet. <laughs> The next thing, I found out that you can collect one of everything, and it started. Oh my goodness, that you can get one of everything? Right? What? Like, right? Well, when? when you first start, like, you don't really know, like, what you like caring for, what likes living in your house. Like, it's really easy just to go crazy and just to buy, like, a ton of things. And then in three months, you have, like, a stack of right. dead plants. Yeah. Because or those, you're you weren't really ready for good at it, and they get bigger. That's yeah. the other thing you have to yeah. remember. And it is not always the things that you like the best. That get bigger. That do the best. Some of my ugliest plants are huge. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And it's like, oh, I have to leave you there because you're big, but, man, you're ugly. <laughs> but you don't have a choice. You have to keep them. Right. Yeah. Or find somebody who likes that plant. Yeah. But exactly. that can be, that Sell can be it. a tricky thing, too. Sell it, get another one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But... You have to be creative. I yes. mean, if you have stipulations and, you know, well, and, and be respectful. You will never friend. have so much space, right? <laughs> and, and they live here too. What do you mean? I have so many more spaces. Look, there's like tons. Look, I think there's a spot right <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm not a good friend to have. If you were needing an enabler, call me. Well, and then you go to the plant yeah. store and you're like, oh, what is this cool thing that oh, I have never yeah. ever seen before? Or like, it's a little and cute and it will stay a little and cute, right? Yeah. And then they put it on sale. Right? That's my bad word. Yeah. It's like, okay, I got it on sale. I waited long enough and now it's there mm -hmm. for me. It's meant to be. Well, and, and now like with the plant market opening so much, um, oh, there are so many bad? exciting things coming in, but a lot of those things are more delicate plants, right? So Harder to grow. like, yes, it's available, but can I grow it? And if you're spending like $10 on a plant and you kill it, like, well, okay, that's the thing that happens, right? But if you're spending... $60 on each of your plants and then you're killing half of them like that's that's, that's a, a much harder pill to, to swallow. Lose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's lovely in here though. It is. Like it's so pretty. There's, there were no winter blues at yeah. my house. Yeah, it no. helps And so if much. you have winter blues, you will not know where I live. So come on down. We'll have a cup of tea. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes plants. too because you have the UVA UVBs are on mm -hmm. because of the plants and yeah. that helps when we don't in the north get enough vitamin yeah. D, vitamin A, you don't get enough of those things. And I don't know if the lights really emulate enough to do anything for us, but I find it beneficial. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca, for oh, having me welcome. and for showing me your collection and your plants. You're so welcome. Thanks for coming. Enjoy my collection. I hope that uh, you learned something, if nothing else. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Bye. We'll see you next Bye. time. <laughs>
right. they're just more natural behaviors. Yeah, they're so funny. I mean, just the things they try to do, and he'll he'll go and he'll knock all the leaves off of his one branch that he loves, and you'll find them all on the ground, and you'll be like, oh, what have you done? And the plant has to survive from that, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it just makes sense to do it that way. Hey, Mr. C.